Hey guys, what's up? It's Apollo here. I hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to our Elder Scrolls campaign where we are fighting as the Stormcloaks against the Empire in this bloody civil war for Skyrim. So this is the fifth part. In the fourth part, we definitely encountered some challenges. We had two major siege battles, one at Fort Dunstad, which was a decisive victory, but we were not so lucky at Dawnstar. They took the settlement and that's a pretty huge blow to the rebellion, but but it's not the end. Now, originally, I wanted to take this navy, pick up our main and only force, take them by boat around the coast and attack Dawnstar, but we just can't do that because if I leave our main only army, the, you know, the main force, if that's gone, then we're open to attack. And look at this, the Empire's already marching a lot of legions uh, to, to the capital, trying to take out the capital and, and end this rebellion. So we cannot do that, we cannot lose our capital. So my new strategy here is to take the main army, group up a little bit, go down south and destroy this force. Get rid of them, then move even further down south and meet up at Helgen. I'm hoping by then we have conquered Helgen, from Helgen, we will go north and take Whiterun. So that, in the first episode, that was our original strategy. Now, I am really sorry that if you really wanted me to take Dawnstar back, it's going to have to wait a little bit. We just have to focus around the nearby settlements near the borders. Once we deal with that, then we can worry about Dawnstar and take that back. Uh, so this is actually the fifth episode is the first episode where I am taking your advice because I recorded the first four in one sitting. So I've, I've looked over your advice. You guys have very great advice. I mean, I'm loving the comments for this Let's Play because the role playing is so awesome. It's beautiful. Also, I really like it when you guys mix advice with role playing. That's really fun to read. Uh, so yes, in episode two, we lost the Dragonborn. I didn't know he was the Dragonborn Ragnar. Uh, so that's unfortunate. I, you know, I had a funeral for uh, Galmar, but, you know, the Dragonborn, we only knew him for a little bit. He, you know, he, he tested his skills doing that one mission to kill the Ice Wraith. He, you know, he did a good job, but other than that, I mean, he said he was the Dragonborn, but, hey, where's the dragons? Did you see him ab absorb a dragon soul? I didn't. So, you know, if I'm seeing dragons flying around, then I'll regret losing the Dragonborn. No, I'm just kidding. I actually am really upset about losing him because, you know, it's the Dragonborn. Uh, but, you know, you can't go back. You can only go forward and hopefully we can redeem him and, and uh, be victorious and achieve victory for the Stormcloaks and take back Skyrim for the Nords. Uh, so another thing that you guys wanted me to do was actually focus in Winterhold and build a um, a college, I believe. Yeah, Mage Guild's headquarters, and that way we can get some mages, which I definitely think that's a good idea. It's just a little cost, you know, a little expensive. So we might have to do that a little bit later once we settle things down here in the south. Uh, so yeah, on that note, let's go ahead and dive into this uh, this uh, campaign, and we'll get rid of uh, this force right here. I think that's going to be my main task. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue to push the great soldiers with the main army. So I might actually, let's see, archers. Um, yeah, I might get rid of the town guard because I believe we do have some, yeah, we've got more trained professional units. So let's actually get the town guard out of here. You can go to Windhelm. And then we'll take the more elite troops because we need we need the elite troops bad. <laughs> like that's the main the main fighting force. The town guard are no good. Uh, so let's go ahead and march this way. Hopefully we can intercept this army before they reach the capital. Even if they do, we should be able to crush them. Also, we're gonna go through our, our buildings and really look at the units and ask you know ask ourselves, do we need this unit? We need to look at saving money because right now. We're just not making enough, so let's try to let's actually disband some of the units here, and just start to really save our money. Uh, I know we just uh, moved a bunch of town guard over here, but let's actually get rid of them. So just again saving some cash over at Winterhold. I'm a little bit worried about removing troops from Winterhold because you know the Empire can move an army north and attack Winterhold. But that's just the risk I'm going to take. I'm going to go ahead and actually build some watchtowers up here. So let's actually build it on the road right about... Well, let's see. How far out can we go? We can go pretty far. So let's go right here. And we'll go ahead and build a watchtower. 
so we can see that way if there is an army headed this way we will have time to react and you know send an army over hopefully hopefully this gives us enough time to react not really but it's better than nothing i suppose uh let's see helgen i might actually attack here because they have one general just hanging out and I'm really worried that they're sending over more troops, and I don't want my army out here in the open. Now, originally, remember, this guy was on a suicide mission. I wanted him to die. Well, this is a good situation. I got to try to take advantage of this. So let's actually see what happens if we attack this. Again, it's a, it's a cav unit. So let's, you know what, I know this is a little tedious, but let's fight this on the battlefield because I don't want to lose too many troops. And I feel like this is going to be really easy because, again, he's on horseback. He can't get any of his troops on the walls. So it's not like he's going to be fighting on the walls and making it difficult for my infantry to conquer and silence those arrow towers. Let's start deployment. So Helgen will be ours. Oh, sorry guys. I totally forgot that I turned down my camera speed. I was doing cinematic shots. There we go. So that much better. Uh, so yeah, this is plain and simple. And I totally forgot about Helgen being the starting point of, uh, of the campaign in the actual game. I, I didn't know that until much later. Uh, but anyways, let's, uh, let's begin. So we're going to push up both the ladder and the ram. Uh, we might take some arrow fire, but that's okay. Keep the archers alive. That's most important. They're going to sit back and fire. So let's start the battle. And uh, go ahead and move the ram first. We're going to take the gate. I mean, honestly, we don't really need the ram. Because what we're going to do is take this wall and then open up the gate. Uh, I think he's going to hang back. This is going to be a tricky unit, though. I mean, it's just one, but we don't really have any spears to contain them. Uh, I'm going to try to get my archers in range and really just focus fire them down. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, six speed it. Of course, this is not the most exciting thing. Again, this is very tedious, I know. Uh, but sometimes you have to do, uh, do this for uh, you know a successful campaign. you got to do the tedious stuff and try to save as many men as possible. The balance of power is looking really good. Oh, you know what? The arrow towers are not even activated because he's not nearby. I totally forgot about that. I need to say, okay, I'm so sorry. I keep saying totally. I'm really sorry about that. I'm going to work on not saying that because that's really annoying. You know, sometimes when you're in the commentating mode, you don't realize you're saying things. And then when you go back and rewatch the video, you're just like, oh my God, please stop saying that. Why do you keep saying that? Just stop. Okay, so we're going to slow it down a little bit here. So I've got my town guard, two-handed town guard. Uh, so they're going to go ahead and run through. Where is his calf? Still over there. All right, cool. So we're just going to set up our infantry right about here. Or not. Just move there. Archers, get over there. General, get over there. The enemy's walls belong to us. Yes, the enemy. Yes, the enemy walls belong to us. Fantastic. All right, so we're going to six uh, speed it and continue to get a little bit closer. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the town guard. I think they did a great job with the town guard. They look pretty spot on to what they actually look like. Now, it's in, I really wish they had the proper Stormcloak uniform. You got, I'm sure you guys realize that, you know, uh, they don't look very, you know, Stormcloaky. <laughs> Stormcloaky. <laughs> uh, what am I saying? But, yeah, it, it's, what are they called? Like, Skyrim warriors? That Yeah. So, maybe in a, a future update or something like that, that would be pretty cool. But still, like, this is, I'm loving this. Like, the role-playing in this is, is too much. I think you guys are really enjoying it, and that's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, okay, so it looks like we're going to have to get a little bit closer. So let's actually move my infantry this way. Uh, the range on the town guard archers are not that great. So let's uh, push forward here. There we go. Archers begin to fire. Turn off skirmish mode. That might get them to charge my infantry. If they do do that, that's fine. All right, so, okay, I, you know, since we're just sitting back and we're watching these people get hit with arrows, uh, a lot of you guys have been, you know, that's the thing with campaigns. A lot of people are very critical. I just want to make it clear that my campaigns are more about role-playing than not, you know, com than, you know, trying to try hard all the time. Oh, okay, hold that thought. Let's do a counter-charge. 
So I'm not gonna look at every every vari variable in, like in detail and just look at every single option. Kind of think of it as we're watching a movie, but we do have somewhat control over the actions of our heroes and our armies. So again, it's just a laid back, fun campaign. Battling don't get all, favor, you know, don't get too frustrated if I do something Arthur. stupid. And trust me, guys, I do a lot of things stupid, all right? I do it all the time. Just accept it and enjoy this campaign for what it is. Um, but yeah, with that out of the way, it looks like we're doing pretty well against this this captain, the Cyrodelic Cavalry. So we're doing we're doing well. I was a little worried that he was gonna crush my town guard. He's actually doing quite a bit of damage, which you know, not a surprise against the crappy town guard. It's basically militia, but it's a cool looking militia. There we go. So we hold on to Helgen now, but we've got to move fast because you never know. There goes the general. Our men have slain the enemy general. Yes. Enemy flees the battle. Uh, we'll just continue. There we go. That's all it. Of will be all, all of Christendom. Christendom. Uh, so the prince, the second in command, though, I do want to kill him. Whatever. You know, maybe he'll redeem himself. Uh, but yeah, we lost 51 men, which uh, is unfortunate. But again, they're town guard. Not a big deal. So at this point, Helgen needs to hold. We cannot lose this settlement. Never again. Uh, so let's take this. Once we take it, I'm going to put down a watchtower. Let's occupy the settlement. So Helgen has changed hands quite a bit of times throughout this uh, rebellion. Tamriel is pretty upset. Very poor. I don't care. Tamriel, dude, fair and rule. All right, so plus one in chivalry. So he's getting some experience. All right, so let's actually take my general. We're going to build a watchtower about right here. Uh, it's only just going to help our view. Um, oh, oh, dang it. Okay, well, that's an issue. See, this is a problem. Because we don't have enough men to defeat that army. God, that sucks. And there's another fort right here. Pale Pass Ruins, which would be a great defense against the Empire from sending up troops this way. So we might actually want to take this out before White Run, but I really want to siege siege White Run just to see what it looks like. I hope it's a unique settlement. That would be so cool. Um, but I don't know what to do here, guys. Um, we could just fight to the death. Um, do we have troops here? We've got another general. But I don't want to send two generals to their deaths. Um, we can't get reinforcements over there in time. We might just fall back from Helgen and let them take it. But all that work for nothing. I don't want to lose it for nothing. Hmm. Sometimes you just have to fall back. That's a solid army. Uh, pretty good general. He's got three stars. I need to get another spy. I'm going to keep the spy in this area. If I can actually get another spy from Riften. So let me, let me uh, recruit one. Uh, I still Oh, that's right. I still can't get a spy from Riften. That's always frustrating. You know what? We need to just constantly be recruiting troops at this point. Get some archers. Uh, we can also get some ballista. I think we can get some from Riften too. Um, I'm just kind of delaying this, this choice I have to make. I, I like I feel like we might be able to win. Let's actually No. We might be able to hold on. No, we can't. We can't we can't hold on with, with just a few units, so we're gonna fall back. We've gotta fall back. I know they're gonna be very upset about that, but I'm sure they're gonna take it after this next turn. Uh we're just gonna have to wait right here and wait for this main army. This army is full, so again, they're out of moves. Um, so I think that's pretty much everything we can do. We only have 700 gold, so let's end the turn and see what happens. Oh, boy. All right. This is going to be intense. Um, also, I need to go to my navy and probably disband some of those ships. I totally forgot to do that. New mission. At least four units at Helgen. Did they not take it? Wow. What is going on here? Interesting. 
Interesting. Rioting. Okay. So, let's do growth build. It doesn't matter. They're still going to be very upset because we have no military units there. I expected them to take it. But if they're not going to take it, then what the hell are they doing? They're in my territory. Falling factions are at war to the clan. Clan of crowned. Mm, maybe I should look for them to, uh, you know, form an allowance. Uh, an allowance. Alliance. <laughs> Give them an allowance. <laughs> All right. Uh, where is this? Oh, come on, dude. Are you going to winter? No, dude. You fight me. All right, so we got another epic battle here. This one's actually really close. We are outnumbered, but only by a few. I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Let's go ahead and set this one up. All right, guys, so here we are. It's, oh, I hate these kind of maps. Full of trees. It's going to be a tough one to see. Thankfully, we have this button right here, which will show the location of certain soldiers, or our soldiers and their soldiers. Uh, let's go ahead and all missile troops group up. Single file. Uh, archers are going to be very important in this, like always. Uh, we should definitely invest. In, a lot of people have been telling me to invest in more archers, rely on the archers. Uh, and I, to I totally agree. I think that's going to be really important. Uh, then for my infantry, let's actually have two groups. We're going to have the Skyrim Warriors, which is like the shielded swordsmen. They're going to be the front lines. Right behind the archers. Oh, nice solid line. Now, just imagine if they had storm cloak uniforms. That would be so sick. Uh, and then the Nordic plate warriors. This, these guys are probably my best infantry. And this is... I'm going to go ahead and group them, group them up. And it will be my secondary line. So, pretty solid force. We'll keep the general again. We'll, we'll keep the general close. And then the cav. Let's actually put the cav on the left flank. So, they're going to try to flank around... And uh, get some hammer and anvil and run down retreating troops and whatnot. Or wavering troops, making sure they don't return. Let's start the battle. Okay, so they're pretty far away. I don't know if they're actually going to march towards us. Again, I can't see anything because of the vegetation and the trees. It's going to be a tough situation. So let's actually... Let's see, is the general moving? No. Since we attacked them, I doubt they're going to push forward. So let's actually um, go ahead and march. Try to stay in formation. So we'll go try to take the top of this hill. Oh, that's not formation. That's right. We're going to form up right. Well, let's stretch it out a little bit. It's just. There we go. There we go. And then the second layer, of course, right behind them. So nice organized lines. And then the third layer. I mean, this is like the basic strategy in most of my pitch battles. We, we rely heavily on archers. We rely heavily on um, on infantry and a little bit of cav. We don't have a ton of cav, but let's just make sure everybody's in place. Fantastic. And we'll go ahead and fast forward as we march upon the enemy. So let's go ahead and enjoy the sights of this great Skyrim force. The Nords will have their territory back. All right, so my forces are almost in position. I'm actually, I might try to scout ahead with my cav and just see if I can reveal some of the troops. Just so my, oh, there we go. There we go. There's the army. Oh, that's a big army. Okay, quickly, quickly, in formation, march, run. Actually, we might have to hold our ground here. All right, cav, fall back. I don't want my cav focused down by archers. Get some distance, get some distance. There we go, there we go. Archers are forming up. He's got cav though, I gotta be careful. All right, so I gotta be clicking that button a lot just so I can show what's going on. That's not good. Oh, his archers are getting close as well. Fire, fire at will, men. Please. There we go, he's stopping, he's stopping. All right, cav fall back a little bit. Whew, this is gonna be intense. All right, my archers are releasing hell upon them. He's got, let's see, town guard, not worried about. Light legionaries, they're pretty good. He's now firing back, unfortunately. Oh, this is going to be an intense fight. I really need to get some catapults, some artillery. I think that's going to be that's, that's going to be a huge help in future battles. Uh, no, oh, wait, town guard swordsman. He's got, so. oh, he's charging. He's charging. All right, let's do a counter charge. Oh, God. 
It's like whenever something critical is happening, you go totally brain dead. I'm just like, what am I doing? All right, and then let's uh, push up the other infantry as well. Here we go. Let's meet them in battle, boys. In battle. So we definitely have quality over them. They have the numbers, but only just. Only a few troops. Here we go. Here we go. Charge. Charge. For Skyrim. Down with the Empire. For Ulfric. There they go. There they go. Alright, so let's get my uh, cav going around the flank. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's impossible to see what's going on. Come on, guys. Charge in there. Uh, let's actually push up my general. We're going to get him close by. Archers, I want you to continue to kill the back troops. Yes, we are. Worthy victory. Alright, fantastic. So what I'm doing now is my archers, I'm focusing down their general. I believe that's their general. I don't even think they have a proper general. I think they've got like a captain, which is good for us. Don't let them outflank us. Let's actually, uh, speaking of outflanking, let's push some troops around the flank in the secondary line. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, why am I doing Lord of the Rings music? <laughs> Uh-oh. My cab's in trouble. They're getting harassed by uh, some town swordsmen. I'm just trying to run down some of these archers, which are breaking. Fantastic. All right, so I think... Um, let's push up more infantry in the center lines. I've got some flanking troops. They need to hurry up, though. Go around this way. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Archers. Um... Keep killing their archers. Get them, Cav. Get them. What a fight. And look at look at all the dead empire. Look at them breaking. What a bunch of cowards. All right, push towards the center, man. Oh, he's got his cab pushing up. You can't handle the great Nords. Wait, well, some of them are Nords, too. I mean, there we go. A lot of them are breaking. No surprise there. Um, no, no, no. Let's send more infantry over to this side. They definitely need the support. I think he's got better troops over here, like light legionary, heavy legionary. Yep, fleeing. Oh, we killed him. Woo, my Nords. Oh, we captured him. Yeah, it will. Alright, so we've got to kill... My cav better get going. We've got to kill a lot of these guys. Uh, because I want their army to disband. I do not want them still alive. Uh, we've only killed 50%. So we've got a lot of killing to do. They have lost half their men. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Yes, victory will be ours. See, that's why it's good to have some cav here and there. Let's just fast forward. Continue. No, we're not killing enough. Come on, Cav. Let's go. Kill them. Oh, it's so important that we kill these guys. We cannot let them... Like, they can't reform. No, nobody survives. Uh, we're running out of space, too. No, no, no. Not completed. Keep going. I think it's like 95% you've got or 97. I don't know. I'm just going to try to kill as many as possible so there's less to fight in future battles. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to kill enough here. See, 71% killed. Oh, come on, quickly, quickly. Move, 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 Cav, move. Do not let them escape. All right, how many have we killed? 78. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, there's still some left over here, but not much. Yeah. Well, that's that's it. 79%. Uh, actually, we got some town guard over here. I know this is tedious, but we've got to do this stuff. We cannot let them return. Come on, Nords. Take them out. My cab is getting tons of experience. Oh, uh, it's just a patrol too. Get them. Getting run down by tr patrol. Yeah, even if we kill these units, I don't think it's going to be enough. There's one more unit we can try to focus down. 
And that will bring it to, what, probably 85, 86%. Go, man, go. Don't let him escape. For Skyrim, get the Imperial filth away from our lands. And they're deep in our territory, too. So these bastards. I love the, the battlefield, though. It definitely has a Skyrim feel to it. The snow, the hilliness, the trees. Again, I hate fighting in the trees, but, it, you know, I have to admit, it is pretty cool at the same time. So there we go. We've killed as much as we could. 90, well, I don't think that's right. I think, let's see. We captured 1,142. Uh, so, yes, Jalmer Blackfire. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but he is the new hero of Skyrim. Uh, so, let's see what we can do with these recruits, or uh, I'm not recruits, prisoners. Um, I'm probably going to um, ransom them, or should we execute them? You know what? I don't think they're going to pay us. Yep. There we go. We defeated the army. And one plus one to loyalty. That's what I like to see. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately, we did not destroy the army, but we we definitely made it weak. Uh, so I think what we need to do now is just push. We need to go down south now. Can can we merge? Yes, we can merge some troops. So that means we can send some to the army. Unfortunately, we don't have anyone good. Uh, we've got some archers, but they're not going to make it over there. Um, so let's get you back in there. Um, do we have any good units here? Yes, we've got some. Well, those are generals bodyguard Do we have like uh, we don't I wanted to add another good unit here, but can we recruit? Uh, we can't really recruit anything good in the south. Uh, you know what? Let's just keep recruiting good troops here That's all we can do uh, like the uh, Skyrim house scarls um but we'll head down south and because it, it just we can't wait we we don't have the luxury of waiting we've got to get down south to helgen and defeat this next force i know my men are tired they just had a great battle and we will remember that battle in the north the battle for fort cast Ka cast um let's see what are we doing okay so what are we doing <laughs> well, oh yeah that's right i'm gonna disband some of this fleet I'm also wanting to get my merchant or uh, my diplomat over. I think maybe if we we could get to to the Argonians, and also we need to get over to this side as well. Um, actually, you know what? No, we'll send the diplomat up this way. I think there's a couple factions uh, that we can uh, do some diplo diplo uh, diplomacy with. Uh, so yes. let me actually disband yes, these units, and we're just gonna leave two ships you guys go back and drop off the diplomat wait where's where's my diplomat yes oh what the heck I didn't mean to split them that's all right um so we already have yeah we already have diplomacy with them I think there's another faction here we can try to do some diplomacy with um, fleet head back to the port I suppose yes my Yes, my lord. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so this is really... This is... I'm feeling good about this, guys. I'm feeling really good. Um, so, I think we're going to be able to take White Run If we can crush this force... Uh, at the same time, I'm building up another army. So, basically, my, pl my plan here is to take Helgen with the main force. Uh, because we're probably going to lose it. Take it back. Once we take it, wait for the secondary army to defend it. Once the secondary army is there, then we're going to push north to white run and take that uh, so I think that's gonna play out very nicely um, so this great army is on its way we will dis now uh, we'll keep that see how are we doing for money now uh, still not that great not that great again it could be because of this force is so expensive um, uh, we'll leave these troops in case we need them uh, but for now I think we're gonna end the turn let me make sure my diplomat that's my merchant. He's he's doing something. Where is my diplomat? Here he is. Yes. Let's just get to the Argonians. So let's push. I don't know how far they are, but let's just go that way. Oh, wait. Who's this? Nope. That's nobody. There we go. So my path was blocked. That's okay. So let's end the turn and see what happens. Oh, Tamriel, you have dog, you. They're like, oh, you're not going to try to defend Helgen, huh? Well, we're just going to make you riot and lose the city to rebels. 
Oh, wow. He's sending another army to the north. That's okay. This is turning out okay because... Oh, we definitely need... We definitely need... Yeah. He's pretty good. Another general. All right. We need to send back the army. Good orders, number one. Yes. yes, everything's good here, guys. Relax. Calm down. Don't riot. We've got an army stationed in here. Financially, we're eighth? We're doing pretty good financially. The mines might be helping us, I suppose. Ooh, we got a ballista now. King... Oh, the Tamriel is at another war. This is this is really good. We want them to be at, at multiple wars. Uh, we got a ballista now, so let's actually... Let's... Hmm. Let's strike this force. Um, let's let's go into their territory. Really? Wow, the balance of power is looking pretty even for a captain who has half the number of troops. That's kind of surprising. Uh, but let's fight this one. So we got another epic battle in Skyrim. Oh, so good, man. I'm loving this campaign. We're having a lot of great moments. I, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I, you know, from episode 4 to episode 5, I think we've had a huge improvement in just luck. You know, just things going our way. Uh, so let's go ahead and just group up once again. I think I'm going to keep my archers in normal, like, tight formation. Uh, I don't think it's just necessary for that. I might actually need the archers a little bit more in this battle because it seems like they have better infantry, I suppose. I really don't know why the balance of power is so even, but it could just be for auto-resolve. So, um, not a big deal. So, the rest of you guys, you are going to be group three. The second infantry line. So, get them lined up. So, same exact strategy. Wait, what happened here? No. Yeah. Wait. Wait, why did you form up like that? Sorry. Sorry, guys. I know it's not the most exciting thing to see formations. Alright, so let's get this all set up and we're good to go. And uh, they're going to be directly behind this building. Can we actually go in this building? No. Wait, maybe. Maybe you can. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but let's see what he's got here. Oh, wow. Oh, and he has a trebuchet? Oh my god, no wonder. He doesn't have a lot of archers though. Okay, so we actually do need to go into what is he? Oh, the trebuchet is firing already? <gasps> no! Okay, push. We need to push. We need to go out in the open right here. Uh, everybody needs to go into loose formation. Loose formation. God, we're losing a lot. We're losing a lot. So let's reform this way. General, get into loose formation. Uh, Cav. Cav's gonna be so important. Oh! Okay. What is that? Oh, no, he's got mages. Oh, he has mages? Oh, no wonder they're so strong. This is a powerful force. Alright, we gotta move fast, guys. Hurry. Especially the archers. Oh, I'm so worried about this battle. I thought we had it in the bag. He's got freaking mages and trebuchet. Where are the mages? Are they... Oh, there they are. Screw you guys. Look at the distance on these bastards. Like, that's a bit extreme, don't you think? Look at how many troops we lost. We might just have to get into the fight as quickly as possible. Because we can't sit back and die to that. Archers, please tell me you're in range. No, you're not. Push forward, archers. Fear no darkness. Or magic spells, for that matter. Alright, Cav, you're going to be so important here. Gotta get that trebuchet. Come on, you coward bastards. Don't you run away. Alright, my archers, I might need to try to focus down the mages, but to be honest, the last time I tried to focus down mages, uh, didn't really work out. Uh, they didn't really do anything. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to hang back and fire. Hang back and fire. Um, can he actually fire behind this building? He's, he seems to be a little too close to it. He Okay, he is moving them. Alright, there we go. We've killed 0%. That's not a good start. They've killed 10% of this army. We've got to get mages. I mean, that's the answer to mages. 
So I think you guys are right. In Winterhold, we've got to get going on that. Um, let's kill them. My poor town archers, my town guard archers are not in range. Let's get them a little bit closer. Come on, mages, where are you at? Where'd they go? That's fine, just fire. Oh, this battle is so intense, guys. Oh, man. Alright, kill those archers. Um, I don't want to charge him because he's got a lot of pikes. And, of course, the mages will do a lot of damage to my men. Hmm. We might just have to charge him, though. Because, you know, in a skirmish phase, I think they've got the upper hand because they have the trebuchet and the mages. And I don't... Uh... I'm scared, guys. I'm just so scared. I don't want to be too hasty and just lose my army mindlessly charging in. Alright, you know what? Let's actually split up my forces. We're going to take you guys, go towards the cav position. And then you guys kind of go more this way. So we're going to split up the secondary line. There's the mages. Oh, and there goes the trebuchet. Whew, he missed. Okay, that's good. Oh, you bastards. Yeah, we've got to get going, guys. I mean, this is the only way. There's no way we're going to be able to win this sitting back. Those mages probably have unlimited ammo. They have ridiculous range. Look at that. Oh, what am I supposed to do to that? What am I supposed to do against that? Okay, so... If you guys could hustle up... Um, archers keep on putting down the hurt. We've killed 8%, so we're closing in. We're closing in for sure. But basically, I want to get close... Well, actually, his ma as long as his mages are not firing... I'm not too concerned about it. You know, I'm not too worried about his his magical powers. <laughs> See, is that his that's his captain. I'm I'm also going to try try to get my cab to silence that trebuchet. Yeah, keep on firing, guys. I'm going to keep firing until I waste all my ammo. Oh, where is his mages going though? Those blue robes. Arcane University mages, screw you guys. Don't fall back, you coward. Look at him. Falling back from my archers. Alright, this is it, guys. Do or die. YOLO, Leroy Jenkins, charging into this fight. I think his infantry is weak enough. Let's hope for a miracle. Okay, so with you guys, go there. You guys are going to push heavily on the flank. And then I think I've got... You guys, you you know what? The units here, they're going to support the center line. Because there's really... I don't have enough time to go all around this building. I like how the AI is actually using some strategy and using the building to protect his uh, left flank. Uh, but honestly, my archers are doing pretty well. We've killed more percentage-wise than they've killed of us. Uh, because the mages, you know, they're behind this building. So they're not exactly doing a lot of damage, which is good. But, you know, I will run out of ammo... So I can't just sit back anyways. There goes the trebuchet. Alright, pretty soon. I think once the trebuchet starts firing, we've got to run. So everything looks good. I don't want to I don't want to tire out my men. This is everything about this battle is gonna be about timing. God, we if we get just two mages in our army, it's gonna be easy. Like I think we're going to have such a great time <laughs> when it comes down to just getting trebuchet and mages. So when that time comes, uh, the, the storm cloaks will no longer be called the lame cloaks in the empire. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. They're still not firing the trebuchet. He's kind of moving it around. Alright, so I almost want to attack with the flanking force first. So let's rush them. Get over there. 
brave men of Skyrim. Now is our chance to bring down the Empire and weaken Tamriel. <laughs> All right. Still nothing. Still nothing. It's going to be a little tricky taking on these pikemen head on, but someone's got to do it. That's going to be my main objective with the flanking force. Go after those pikemen. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Pretty soon we're going to go into normal formation, which is going to be now. And you guys are going to run. Charge the mages. Do not let them fire. You guys, I want you to run as well, please. And flanking force, tight formation as well. Push. Cav, get around. Here we go, men. All right, so charge. Charge on the flank. Cav, run down these archers. Look at the archers fleeing. Uh, my archers, I want you to focus down the trebuchet. Push, brave men of Skyrim. There we go. We've got the mages in, in combat. We need more men in the center lines, though. More elite troops, too. There we go. There we go. Flank, flank, flank. Okay, so because the AI is so stupid, I think uh, we're going to be able to win this one pretty easily. I was so concerned about those mages. And I'm still pretty concerned about them. They're going to put up a good fight, but... It's going to be so nice taking them out. I cannot wait to do that. I mean, revenge for Galmar. There we go. There we go. Let's actually push through this gap right here with my Nord Plate warriors. This is another epic pitch battle. The pikes are getting overwhelmed. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, go Nords, go. Charge them for Skyrim. For Ulfric Stormcloak. All right, let's uh, let's actually keep moving my cav around, running down these archers. The mages. Well, they're not going to be able to withstand this force. There we go. The pikes are breaking. They're surrounded and broken. Their souls have broken. Their spirits have broken. We've got another victory for Skyrim. Wait. Oh, I forgot my general. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Well, half the enemy force there we go. Remains. Half the enemy force has been destroyed. We're losing a lot of men. There's no denying that. But, um, I think what we're going to do after this battle is... Um, well, we're gonna we're gonna retrain some units. We've got to fall back and get this army healthy again, because I'm not gonna risk it. Yes, the coward he is. All right, infantry, keep going this way. Surround the mages. See, so are the mages breaking? They're shaking. They're shaking, shaking in their boots. Come on, Cav. Chase them down. No, 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 no. Do not let the mages escape. Yes, patrol. Kill them. I remember we've got to kill... Oh, I don't know. Are we going to kill enough here? I don't know. We've got to kill, again, like 90-something to fully destroy their army. Alright, seriously, kill the mages. I don't want my cav to die. Alright, cav, fall back. I don't want you to die to those damn wizards. Damn wizards bossing you around. Let's actually charge the units that way. We're going to go ahead and fast forward because this is pretty much a victory. But, oh, I know it, it like, I was so worried about it, but it really turned out to be fine. Like most issues in life. You make things so much bigger than they really are. These mages are kind of bugging out, though. Yeah, that's really what we need. We need mages. 
All right, sweet. We've killed 83%. I think the only reason this battle's still going on is because of the mages. Because they haven't officially have broken. Possibly, but they are running away. They're going to try to save their skin. We've only killed... We killed about half of that unit. Oh, my God. That sucks. Maybe we'll be able to chase him down. Here's the captain. We're now killing the captain. Come on. Go. Don't let them escape, please. Oh, they're going to escape. That sucks. All right. Well, we did everything we could there. And... I guess we'll wait for these mages to get out of here, which kind of is annoying. We can try to get them with the cab, but I don't think they're going to be able to get there in time. Go, go, go. So we lost a lot of great infantry. I mean, we lost a lot of good men. I mean, like, I was worried about the battle. Not that it was super easy and decisive. We, we definitely had a lot of brave men die today, but it could have been a lot worse. So there we go. That's it, right? How is this battle still going on? Oh, boy. Oh, wait. There's a unit over here. No. That's the mages. What the hell? Are you serious? Is this... This is just not gonna end? Okay, so look at this. Look at my army right now. <laughs> They're freaking out. Now, the reason the battle's not ending is because the, is because the mages, they're running... There we go. They were they were like glitched out and super far apart. So yeah, that's why it would not end even though it showed the mages leaving the battlefield. Let me just see if I can kill this one. I'm so desperate to kill these damn mages. Go to hell. Rotten hell. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Alright, so yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's battle and really today's episode. We lost 400 men. Uh, but we killed most of them, captured most of them too. So that's very good stuff to see. And we're going to be able to ransom them. Um, but I don't think they're going to accept. I think the Empire might be having some financial issues. Yep, rejected. So another great army defeated. Uh, they still have a decent number of troops, but that's all right. Um, I guess we could just auto... Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just auto resolve. We lost 40 men. All right, but this army needs to head back to the capital. We need to uh, retrain them. They've lost a lot of good men. They've seen a lot of battles. Okay, thank you. Uh, but they really need to fall back. Uh, we we held the wave attack from the empire. Uh, they are starting to build a new army at White Run. So I think someone, maybe there's a spy telling them my strategy. I don't know what's going on. Um, but uh, we need to prepare to attack, get this army healthy again, and try to build up another army uh, ready to go. So yeah, that's going to wrap up the fifth episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Long live Ulfric Stormcloak. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time.